in the modern era of Major League Baseball. Miami is on the brink of clinching a spot in the postseason for the first time in a full season since 2003. Win, and they're in. They can also clinch tonight with a Diamondbacks and Reds loss. They're going after Quinn Priester. Now there's the PA lottery numbers for Quinn. As you mentioned, Greg, his eighth start of the season, creeping up toward that 50 pitch mark. Maybe he gets there today, who knows? Jorge Soler to lead things off. Here's a smash. That's fair. Down the left field line. Rolling towards the corner, Jorge Soler with extra bases leading off the top of the first inning here in Pittsburgh tonight. Jorge Soler so comfortable in the leadoff spot, hitting 357 in 78 games coming into this one. Bell, he was one for four last night. 1-1 one, one on the way to Bell, and he grounds one right side. And is there going to be a play at first? No! Base hit. Am I challenge that? For a guy that's big and strong and physical like he is, and most lefties love the ball down. Jazz with a couple of big hits, or at bats, I should say, in the last couple of days. Ground ball through for a base hit. Solaire scores, and Jazz comes through with an RBI, and the Marlins get that all important first run. One, nothing. Here in the first. Well, we told you that uh, Priester, he gives up lots of runs, and uh, his whip is over one and a half. Ground ball short, six, four, three. He actually got some ground balls, did Priester, but he trails one nothing as the Pirates come to bat. So a couple of soft ground balls, hard to turn double plays on. Skip Schumacher making the first of what could be a few changes tonight. Stephen Okert facing Jack Sawinski here. Three, two. Hit on the hands and out to left base hit. Hayes will put on the brakes at second. He got that fastball in on the hands of Sawinski and he muscled it into left field for a two out single. One two from Okert. In the air out towards shallow right field. Sanchez camped underneath it and makes the catch. Pirates leave a couple. Marlins lead by one. Hey, there's one out here with the second inning. John Birdie, his nine game hit streak with snap last night. That's a base hit for John Birdie. Boy, he has been swinging it lately, hasn't he? Starting at second base. Garrett Hampson, two for four in game one last night. Staying put up the middle. Diving play, Gonzalez. And that's all they're going to get is the out at second base. Right behind the second base bag, stuck with it, kept it on the infield, fed Piguero, but that was all they were going to get. And Jacob Sol is also struggling a little bit at the plate. Three, two, runner goes, and a base hit through that right side. Hampson on his way to third. Good at bat there for Stallings, and the Marlins have him on the corners with two outs. A good 95 mile per hour fastball. Stallings knew he was going to get it. Oh, look out. Solaire, fortunately, I think, uh, took that one off the knob of the bat. So they're challenging the hit by pitch. So they say it's a hit by pitch and some boos here in Pittsburgh. The hit by pitch will load the bases. They could bust this thing wide open right here. To first base. Triolo steps on the bag. Good opportunity for the Marlins, but they leave them loaded. Pirates with a lot of traffic early on. They left two aboard in the first. 202 for Nick. A couple of home runs. Bunted. And it's a play that Rodriguez went back to oh, look at here. third base. And then Gonzalez goes back to first to retouch. Rodriguez scores. They still throw home anyway to keep Bay from scoring. Gonzalez ends up at second base. And the Pirates tie the game at one. And I wonder if Skip is going to ask, since the ball was in front of home plate and that angle is what it was on the throw, was the runner on the correct side of the line. Do one just about as bad as you can throw one. Almost at the first base coach. One out here in the third inning and Jazz Chisholm Jr. will be the batter. First pitch to Jazz is swung on and hit high and deep to right field. So Winsky's going back out of the warning track. Looking up. Does it have enough? Yes! There she goes! A towering bomb into the seats and right for Jazz Chisholm Jr who gallops and dances around the bases here at PNC Park. It's two to one Miami here in the third. His 19th home run of the season. I don't know if you can hit it any higher than Jazz Chisholm Jr. just did. The Pirates also not going quietly and they've got two on and two out here in the third. Yeah, just like the Marlins. Uh, we've left quite a few men on base as well. And he got him, got him to chase the slider. Huge strikeout, four for Soriano. Marlins lead narrowly, two to one here in the fifth. Here's Hayes against Puck. Yeah, fly ball to right field, nearing the wall, off the Clemente wall and right. Hayes into second base with a lead off, stand up double. Now it's up to Andy Rodriguez. And up the middle, a base hit. Hayes will be waved. Here's the throw from Chisholm. It's going to be late. 
Andy Rodriguez, a game-tying single to center. We we'll have a series. Sacrifice goes 5-4, and the Marlins have two in scoring position with one out. Jorge Soler to the dish. Looks like they're going to pitch to him. Oh, that could be dangerous. To short. They'll come home with it. But it's late, and Birdie scores. Soler safe at first base, and the Marlins take a 3-2 lead. And Pagaro got the ball in a hurry. He really should have had an out at home. Bell at the dish, first and third, one out. And a fly ball out toward right in front of the track. Making the catch, throwing toward second. It'll be a sack fly for Josh Bell, and the Marlins have scored twice in this sixth inning. The Marlins are inching closer to a postseason berth. Eight outs away. What a season it's been. 0-1 pitch popped up in the air. Foul territory. Josh Bell is over, and nobody can make the play. Jesus Sanchez and John Birdie were looking up at one another. Sanchez covers his head, and this ball lined into the right field corner. Better look down now. Another double for Key Brian Hayes. That was unbelievable. Double for Hayes. Here's the set and the pitch. Inside hit Davis. Fastball from Moore. Oh, a hit in the, hit like the back, right wrist. Back, back of his right hand or wrist right in that area. Bounces this one to third. Berger over to first to get the out. Through seven. Four to our score. So here is Josh Bell. First and second, two outs. The Marlins with a four to two lead. We're in the top of the eight. That one kicks away, and both runners will move up. Rodriguez directed it up the third base line, but it kept rolling away from him. Good reads by Birdie and Soler behind him. 3-1 from Hernandez. And this one is out toward left center field, and it's going off the wall. Two runs will score. Josh Bell opens it up in the eighth inning. Little Michael Jackson off the wall there for Josh Bell. He and Berger, man, they have been worth the price of admission this year. A 3-1 count. They had an open base for him. Uh, they elected not to take that opportunity, and Bell made them pay. First and third, two outs in the eighth inning. 6-2 Marlins lead. Brian Reynolds, 0 for 4 today. Brown ball, base hit to right. There it is. He comes through with a two-out single on a 1-2 pitch. RBI number 84, and it's 6-3. Marlins trying to get that run right back. David Cruz 0 for 4 today. That is a base hit right center field. Jazz coming around third as it dies in right field. He'll score easily. De La Cruz with a base hit, and the Marlins get that run right back. Marlins need a win to get to the postseason, and the Marlins are a strike away. Swing and a miss, strike three. It's a Marlins playoff clinching win and a postseason party in Pittsburgh. Tanner Scott strikes out the side in the ninth inning, and the Marlins are going back to the postseason.